Have you ever had a uh, piece of rubber that is sticky to the touch? This is a, a lightsaber that is a collectible lightsaber that I've had uh, sitting in storage while we were moving. And um, you can see that the, the rubber has deteriorated on, on a couple of the pads. You can see this is actually one that I've, that I've uh, restored and uh, got a couple left here but they're relatively easy to fix um, what you need is um, some isopropyl alcohol um, I got a little plastic uh, just a, a little scraper and um, you basically take and get your alcohol on your uh, you know like a microfiber cloth I, I like microfiber because it it's a little bit rougher than um, some of the other, you know, paper towel will, will leave residue. You basically uh, just scrub that along the uh, the pad with, that, with the um, alcohol. And um, you take your, your scraper and you scrape off any of the stuff that is still there, the bad rubber that's sticky. And um, you just keep doing that back and forth until you've got um, a nice smooth pad. So let's try it. The other thing I want to mention is um, I did try Goo Gone. Uh, Goo Gone didn't seem to do anything. Um, it, it, it's not really meant for, I mean, it does take uh, adhesive residue and things like that off, uh, sticker residue, but it didn't really work. Um, I also tried some of this, which is just a plastic trim restore. Um, that really didn't do anything either, so um, I need to uh, do a little bit of extra work here. So basically, just. Uh, need to get your your alcohol here doesn't really take a whole lot just actually kept reusing the same place over and over and then here's the uh, the bad sticky rubber here hopefully you can see it pretty well and actually as you start rubbing the alcohol on it you'll start to see um, the places where uh, the rubber is deteriorated so um, I just began to, uh, to rub this a little bit and I just took this and started scraping just lightly. I'm not I'm not doing it very heavily, and that'll start taking some of the residue off. And it just keeps swapping back and forth. And I'm pushing pretty hard on the um, with the microfiber cloth just to make sure I'm getting all the residue off of it. But I'm not pushing as hard with the uh, the plastic um, scraper here. And that's pretty much it right there. That's um, that's pretty much done. It's nice and smooth now. The the rubber's off. The only thing I noticed is um, on some of the edges, um, there's still some some places where um, you know it's a little sticky um, on the ends here and the bottom. Um, but those are pretty easy to to take care of. It's the ones where there's a lot of um, stickiness that's really hard to do. Um, I've got a, an older car too, um, a 2004 uh, Jetta GLI. It's got some rubber parts on it. Um, and you know some of those rubber parts get sticky um, just because the hard rubber deteriorates over time um, I think I'm gonna start doing that on on those pieces too um, but if you have any uh, any kind of old rubber that you're trying to restore get the sticky off of it um, you know a lot of times they'll people will suggest just replacing the rubber um, as you can see here it's uh, it pretty much has, has solved my problem I don't have any uh, any more sticky uh, residue on the outside of this and the rubber that's left underneath is is likely going to uh, you know stay this way for a while unless there's you know weather conditions and humidity and things like that but um, this will be stored indoors moving forward thanks a lot